So some things that I experienced that many people may not experience. Uh, the first thing is like extreme thirst, you guys. Before I even found out I was pregnant, I would notice how thirsty I was. When I say thirsty, I mean thirsty to, to the point where nothing would quench my thirst. I could drink a bottle of water immediately. That wouldn't do it, you know? I just didn't get it. I was so thirsty. And this may be something that some other mothers have experienced, but for me, it was definitely weird. Okay, because looking at and researching symptoms and all of that kind of stuff, I didn't see thirst. Extreme thirst. And some people would say, oh, it's because you're dehydrated, but no. It's not because I was dehydrated, okay? I make sure that I'm hydrated all the time, okay? Look at this, okay? This is the amount of water I have with me. I drink. I drink this plus more a day. And so, it couldn't have, it was not dehydration like at all. But yeah, being thirsty, real thirsty. The next thing was, is I'm experiencing is acne. Like, I don't know if you guys can see right here, but like, I have a bump right here, I have more scars right here. Even like over here, I mean, I'm having scars, you guys. <sighs> I have acne pregnancy acne and I've always dealt with you know bumps I wouldn't call it acne it would just be oh you ate too much sugar bump your cycle is on bump you know you didn't wash your face good enough bump but it wouldn't be like oh breakouts just because breakouts you know so it's I understand it's definitely hormonal but it's so annoying I mean even on my arms like I'm breaking out it's not, I don't think it's a common symptom. I mean, it's a possible common symptom only because of the hormone fluctuations. But at the same time, it's something that I'm dealing with. Okay, now, you guys, no matter what I wash my face in, what I put on my face, I'm breaking out. I'm breaking out. So, you know, it's just something I'm gonna have to deal with and I'm gonna just have acne until I get buried. You know, it's okay. It's okay. Cold feet. Oh my goodness, and I'm sure this has a lot to do with, you know, hormone levels, iron levels as well. My iron levels are good, nothing has been off. But in the first trimester, I think because, you know, you have so much more blood pumping through your body, honey, my feet were cold. I don't know what it was, it was just my feet were so cold, and I just didn't understand why. I mean, I would put on socks, feet still cold. And I'm like, what is going to warm me up? So that was really annoying. You know, along with not being able to sleep as good as I wanted to, and then having cold feet, it's like, come on. At least not have cold feet. I can't sleep, I can't get in a good position, now I gotta have cold feet, you know? It was a lot, okay, it was a lot to deal with. And I kinda hinted at this earlier when it came to cramping, and said I would, go, I would expound upon what came along with my cramping. So, I did have brown discharge, and I did also have some bleeding as well. And same protocol took place. I called my doctor, I let them know, and everything was perfectly fine. They didn't know why, you know, even after doing, you know, my first ultrasound and things like that, nothing looked abnormal. And I mean, this bleeding probably took place for a day. And it wasn't like super heavy bleeding, but it was like bright red bleeding, you know? And I was like, oh. And the craziest thing is, you guys, I'm going to put this tip and trick here. Yeah, you may have a child, or maybe you're having another child, or I don't know, or your daughter may have a child, your friend, I don't know, I don't know, girl, but. So the prenatals that I use are the rainbow light prenatals, okay? I switched to a certain prenatal, and I didn't take it consistently, but I would test it, so. I would take my rainbow light and then one day I would say, okay, let me take this one. Because I wanna slowly ease my body into it because you know, even though it is a prenatal and a multivitamin, like it could be different in certain things that it, you know, delivers to your body. So this one particular brand, and I will also put it up here on the screen, but I would take it and then the next day, I would bleed like I don't know what it was I don't know what it was 
I don't know if you have, you know, maybe a, a explanation for why this happened. Comment below. I have no idea, but it happened twice, and those were the two times that I bled a little bit, and I just don't know what it is. And I mean, yeah. So I stopped taking it. I mean, I have a full bottle of it still in my cabinet because I only took like two pills of it. So I'm thinking about returning it, but yeah. So I researched that and I really didn't find anything. So I really don't know what caused that. But yeah, if you have any inkling on why, then let me know. The last thing that I experienced that many people may not, and maybe they do, but I just found it strange. Like I lost all indication of when I needed to use the bathroom. Like, I, I didn't know. Like I could have a full bladder in my first trimester and not know until I sit down on the toilet. Like it's the most strangest thing, you know? For the first trimester, my body was getting acclimated to everything, like repositioning and moving around and you know, like my body just lost. Yeah, it's strange, okay? It's strange to me. But yeah, it's just, I didn't know when I really had to use the bathroom and when I thought I had to use the bathroom, nothing came out it was like pss. and i'm like really really just that much i roll okay but yeah guys that's pretty much my first trimester and i hope you know you guys gained insight on what i experienced in my first trimester it was definitely a journey okay please leave me some comments below let me know if you're pregnant or let me know your past experiences with your first trimester and also hint at your second trimester and third trimester too like you know i'm trying to really be prepared as much as i can for what's to come and i know everybody has a different pregnancy and things like that but like let's start a dialogue let's talk you know but yeah, so I am going to be coming next with a second trimester video. But before that video, I'm definitely going to try to get up a, vlog, a vlog for you guys. Uh, maybe try to do a cleanup video. And also leave me some suggestions. I want to do some makeup videos as well. You know, it's just things that I want to get back into that I just haven't had the motivation or the energy to do. So I'm not going to ramble on too much because this video, I'm sure, is already too darn long and I have to edit it a lot. And don't forget, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button, okay? Turn that button from red to gray. And then hit that bell notification so you will not miss a video from me. I truly appreciate it. And yeah, so, so much booze, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!